Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Lips, one of the maintainers of the Appium project, which is an impact project here in the OpenJS Foundation. If you haven't checked out Appium before, it's a Node.js implementation of the WebDriver protocol that allows you to target a variety of platforms for automation using the same protocol you might be familiar with from automating web apps via Selenium. Most people use Appium to automate iOS and Android native apps, and it's become quite a popular way to enable CI for mobile apps. Appium's been around for over eight years now, and we're getting close to releasing Appium 2.0 with some fun changes that I thought I would share with you all. One of the main goals of Appium 2.0 is to open up Appium as a platform for automation development allowing anyone in the world to build new drivers or plugins for Appium and share them. What are Appium drivers? They are, at a minimum, a bit of Node.js code that extends our base driver class, and you can write your own Appium drivers to target new or bespoke automation platforms. Are you developing your own operating system or app development framework, for example? You could easily build an Appium driver for it, for internal use, or to give to app authors who build on your platform, so they can easily add automation to their development cycle. The promise of Appium is W3C standard automation protocols applied to any possible operating system, user interface, and app platform. We're working on a couple new drivers ourselves, for release around the same time as Appium 2.0, including support for automation of the Roku TV platform, the Tizen TV platform, and Chromebooks slash Chrome OS. Now, what are Appium plugins? They're ways to extend the operation of Appium with basically unlimited power and flexibility. Again, by writing a bit of Node.js code that extends one of our base classes. Some early plugins that have already been written for Appium 2.0 include one that standardizes the element hierarchy across both iOS and Android, or one that turns Appium into a device management service that knows which mobile devices are available for testing, or another that adds image recognition and processing capabilities to Appium, so you can navigate a user interface and interact with it purely visually without recourse to any actual underlying UI elements. And we could imagine lots of other kinds of plugins, especially ones that might integrate with other technologies or services. So our hope for turning Appium into a platform is that developers will be able to easily implement their own ideas, package them up, and make them available to anyone else who uses Appium. Appium 2.0 will ship with a nice command line interface for finding and managing these drivers and plugins. Appium 2.0 will also see some important updates to Appium Desktop and Appium Inspector, a set of Electron apps that allow you to run an Appium server and inspect mobile applications visually, similar to how you appreciate using dev tools in your browser. The Appium Inspector comes with a lot of tools to make writing Appium tests easy, even for test authors who aren't app developers themselves or who might not have access to the app source code. So those are some of the highlights for Appium 2.0. There's obviously a lot going on under the hood as we constantly try to keep our code base and workflows moving forward at the same time as developing new stuff. So I invite you to check out Appium if you haven't before, and uh, definitely join us at the 2.0 branch on Appium slash Appium at GitHub if you're interested in learning more about the code or helping out the project. Thanks.